big things do come in small packages. Meet the Phantom Badger. Boeing's next big thing. It's a game changer uh, in today's environment. The Phantom Badger has been thoroughly tested, going through, around, and over all obstacles on an off-road course at Fort Bragg in North Carolina. This vehicle gives you the unmatched maneuverability, regardless of what the mission profile is, the type of terrain that you're in, the four-wheel steer, whether it's a very tight urban area or if it's very challenging uh, open terrain. Uh, the, the ability with the suspension system, the ride height, the agility, the speed of this vehicle is unmatched right now. Boeing was also invited to showcase the Phantom Badger's abilities at the National Automotive Testing Center in Nevada, where its tight turning radius, four-wheel steer, maneuverability, and speed were highlighted. The Phantom Badger's tough backbone is courtesy of a small company in North Carolina called MSI, a company better known for its work with NASCAR. For Boeing, MSI engineers enhanced the Phantom Badger's shocks and suspension to take the pounding military customers would dish out. At just 60 inches wide, the Phantom Badger can be transported inside an aircraft like the V-22. Former Special Forces soldier Rob Hobart, who now works for Boeing, says this is key to getting missions done quickly and safely. It gives you that offset distance where then once you offload the vehicles, to be able to use those vehicles to maneuver up, up closer to the objective versus today without a vehicle, you have to land within a, a walking distance, a walking radius to be able to, you know, to meet the, uh, the objective. The Phantom Badger can also be customized with a mission-specific rear module, interchangeable within 30 minutes. Whether delivering supplies or retrieving casualties, the Phantom Badger is equipped to take on any challenge. So I thought the vehicle was very, very impressive. What, what I thought the best was was the variability that it gave you. I mean, we were climbing rack berms, we were going through some major, major obstacles, but then at the same time we reached very, very high speeds with the great mobility.